Well, as commercial banks today begin the circulation of the new Naira notes, customers within the Federal Capital Territory receive the notes with mixed feelings. Well, Arise News correspondent Judith Makolu compiled this report. Redesigned Naira notes begin circulation today. Arise News visits some banks within the FCT and observes a shortage of the new notes at ATM points, leaving some customers disappointed. I was just properly here today to see. Getting it to by May, they withdraw. To my shock, they were still issuing now the old money. And I engaged one of those uh, cashier and the decks. I was asking, if you are still issuing the old money, how long will you not take you to withdraw the one they say you should return to bank? I was just trying to go there. So I was asking, I said, why are you still issuing old money to people, knowing fully where we have to return this money to bank? From what they said that they don't have enough and even the CBN have not given them enough to give in circulation, maybe with time, maybe they will bring more money that they will fill in in ATM so that they can get what they want. I, I, I just finished using the ATM. Okay, did you get the new notes from the ATM? That was uh, my expectation, but unfortunately I couldn't get it. Okay. All notes is still in circulation, the ATM machines. And for customers lucky enough to secure the new notes over the counter, only 2,000 Naira of the new notes were made available to each customer. I withdrew from the banking hall and the, over, the counter. over the counter. And the policy is that for one person is 2,000 Naira per day. And that is what I'm holding. But the reason is that the thing is not uh, much in circulation. And maybe when they have it large volume, they might increase it. I think it's just their own personal uh, policy. The redesigned Naira note come in 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira notes. While the new and existing currencies will remain legal tender and circulate together until January 31st, 2023. Well, for more on days, we're now being joined from Lagos by Nigeria's uh, foremost uh, economist, Paul Alaje. Uh, good evening and very warm welcome to News Night, Paul. The policy has eventually kicked off, but uh, albeit in uh, bits and pieces, as you'd want to say. Paul? Good evening, and thank you so very much for having me. As promised by the Apex Bank, that from today, the uh, new notes, the newly redesigned Naira, uh, talking about 1,500 as well as 200 Naira notes, we penetrate through the Nigerian economy being used for our money in terms of money exchange uh, for transactions we be what nigerians we have access to starting from today um, from the reports that your correspondent had mentioned yes the money is not as expected in in circulation as some persons were expecting to find that uh, in the atm machines but we can only uh, maybe we should exercise some patience and see what central bank would do before uh, the end of the week. Maybe by Saturday or by next week, Monday, we're going to have this money in abundance. Uh, Paul, it would be nice to hear from you what you expect the central bank to do because we're hearing that people can only withdraw 2,000 Naira, uh, you know, at, uh, <laughs> at the bank. It's almost laughable. Nigerians are like, seriously? What exactly do you expect the CBN to do? Because we're told by Godwin Mephile, the CBN governor, that about one trillion naira of the new notes will be released or has been released already to the banks well uh to say the least i was shocked to hear that only two thousand uh is what customer can collect across the counter but i can tell you that there are multiple decisions that central bank is making from our study of the actions of central bank i think central bank wants to forcefully reduce money supply rather than using conventional method uh, which includes uh, using open market operation and so on and so forth. I think central bank this time want to forcefully adjust the money supply so that it can have direct implication on inflation. Unfortunately, inflation figures even came out today showing that rather than inflation reducing, it's still raising its ugly head. And do I think that some of these policies will help reduce inflation? I doubt very much because apart from monetary reasons, which of course is the core mandate of central bank to fight inflation, there are other reasons fueling inflation in Nigeria and even beyond Nigeria and the rest of African countries. And we have seen that the central bankers across the world, at least 80% of central banks around the world, 
are taking similar decisions. And each time, when we see central bank go in this direction, and if care is not taken, what the world will witness is a recession. In America, America is battling not to land in a recession. We've seen Chinese economy, China, has uh, just uh, started relaxing some of the policy as the government is pursuing zero lockdown policy. The implication is that the economy also became weakened, let alone what is happening in the eastern part of Europe, and especially the war going on between Russia and Ukraine. And you can also uh, infer that rather than money supply influencing the price of gas in Africa, and especially Nigeria, what has been inducing the increase in price of gas is because Nigeria has abundant uh, natural resources, and this includes petroleum. But unfortunately, uh, four refineries have refused to be functional. So beyond monetary solution, I think Central Bank will also need to carefully work with other agencies, talking about Ministry of Finance, uh, Budget and National Planning, and more importantly, the Ministry of Trade and Investment. But I speak to you, I doubt if policies are converging. The Honorable Minister was interviewed uh, by some uh, stations and she also mentioned that she, the ministry has not been carried along. And that statement is yet uh, to be tracked from the public space. So I doubt, uh, even though yes, it's good uh, because Central Bank has given some reasons, but we have also seen that even with a, a, a more recent policy of uh, 100,000 error withdra uh, withdrawal uh, or cash withdrawal, by, by the public, by individual, and 500,000 naira. We have seen the immediate response by those we may want to say central bank has really made gain on, talking about POS operators. Uh, it's going to have tremendous negative impact on them. And when you look at the banking presence in Nigeria, it's still very, very, very low. Uh, if you also look at uh, the bank uh, registration, those that have been covered uh, by the bank, I can also tell you that the BVN registration says it all, as we are still trying to, to have improved number in that regard. So if you say it's less than 20,000, I'm just wondering, uh, someone who lives in uh, the remotest part of our country, whether you want to use Brodno as an example, or Sokoto, or you want to use somewhere in uh, a kitty, or Undo, or you want to use a place, maybe somewhere in, the, in Imo, or anywhere in the country at all, that you may want to cite as example, or in Benue State, you may want to ask, how will these people have banking presence now that we want to even withdraw what seems to be making them, quote and unquote, to be having access to banking services, talking about POS operator. With this limitation of uh, 100,000 Naira a week, I doubt very much if this policy uh, will remain. But if all of these are because of politics, maybe because of uh, 2023 elections, and maybe government will start reviewing some of these decisions by, uh, say, end of February or by March 2023, then we can say uh, Nigeria may just want to wait and see how this, some of this policy will relax. So I am not saying that it is wrong to uh, want to limit what cash withdrawal will be, but I'm saying that to drastically reduce that to 100,000 for individual a week is highly uh, unnecessary and is highly insufficient at this moment, as the central bank has said, from next year, I guess January, uh, early first or second week in January, that policy will also uh, take place and we also commence in Nigeria. All right, Paul, very robust uh, submission yeah. there. But one uh, is quick to ask, according to one of uh, the customers we saw on our earlier report about uh, the new Naira notes, where the old Naira is still being paid out by mm -hmm. the banks and when... Yes, there's a deadline for uh, uh, such uh, use of uh, old the old currency. Naira nodes, the 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira. Shouldn't uh, the CBN or the banks by now be paying, dealing only with the new Naira nodes? Paul? Well, the truth is that by now, uh, all banks should have access to the new Naira notes. Only Central Bank had explained and the commercial bank had explained why we are still having old Naira notes. Because if you are saying people should return all the old notes, and we have seen the strategy really work, as we have seen in video that circulated on online platforms, how people that have touched money, people that have stolen money, quote and unquote, even though we may not be able to verify that, have uh, turn the money back to their commercial banks, but we wonder that same money is now still going back 
uh, into the public. So how do we achieve the goals? Because what you spend as an individual, even if the money comes from central bank, goes to, to your commercial bank, and you hand the money, it may take relatively some time before the money goes back to central bank. Because when you collect the money, maybe your organization pay a salary, you use it to pay your tax fee, taxi man use it to buy uh, a PMS, the PMS of, uh, st I mean station use it to pay another salary, the person takes it to market to buy pepe, and it keeps on going. And the rate at which it goes, even at this critical time, of our, our festive season that we have, December as we, as we call it, this is when people spend money more. And I can tell you, most of the spending will come in cash. This is because our people, we are just being exposed to uh, a new global reality of uh, transacting online. So, but it may take some time. It may not be a fire brigade approach of kick and start. It's not an automatic vehicle. It may take some time before our people will adjust. And because of what we are seeing, the media is closely covering and seeing the activity going to various commercial banks. At least today is day one, and the activity has been recorded. We will see what happens by next week. I believe there should, be a, there should have been improvement, but if not, I doubt if the last day that have been set by the Apex Bank we stay. Well, if, if, if the old notes are still being dispensed, then it means that we may be looking at a possible extension. And that would be the right thing to do. If the banks are still putting the same money we want to, uh, we want to withdraw from the public back to the public, it, it only shows that it may be counterproductive to what the central bank is trying to achieve. Yeah, it makes you wonder whether there are any guarantees at all that the purpose of fighting corruption will not be defeated if the big bags, the big money bags, don't get to the uh, you know, DMBs first before it gets to the poor masses. Paul Alaje, thank you very much for joining us on News Night. <laughs>